Good day, dear colleagues. Uh, my name is Alexander Kapitonov, and uh, I'm from St. Petersburg, Russia, ITMO University. And uh, my topic related with the uh, Industry 4.0 and uh, blockchain used inside. It's mainly technical topic. Uh, in my sense, because uh, I will present some uh, cases where we use the blockchain for solution, uh, the like a real life case. Okay, let's go. Uh, right now, uh, we facing with a problem that's uh, ma the main part of the service provider who provide the protocol of the communication between the different system. Uh, between the parts of the automated control system for uh, factories, uh, for uh, any equipment, addition of what placed in, in the factory inside, uh, provided by uh, like a centralized provider, where you should send the transaction inside and uh, someone uh, serve it, uh, make the calculation and give you a, an answer or addressing your transaction to another one. And uh, we start to thinking how uh, to solve that problem when uh, the whole transaction collected in the one point. Because in that case you have the uh, single point of failure, it's not a good case and uh, you should provide the maximum security for that uh, point and uh, some sometimes it's uh, it has w w very high cost and uh, we start uh, to learn the materials or research of our colleagues at first one uh, it's uh, Viktor Glushkov it's uh, one of the pioneers of the economical cybernetics and he proposed to create the global uh, automated system for controlling uh, the economy inside the country and it was uh, in the middle of the uh, last century and uh, the second one it's Ronald Coast and his idea about uh, new institutional economy and uh, his work, the nature of the firm. Because in that work, he explained uh, that the market can find the point for the company where that company will be useful for the market and it will be, um, it, it will have some optimal position. And the size of that company will be uh, bordered by, by market and uh, market control the size of the companies uh, what should be uh, on the market. And th we th thought that sometimes autonomous systems or cyber physical systems, uh, it's a uh, connection of the different elements, actuators, sensors and control system and the uh, protocol inside, co communication protocol inside. It looks like uh, usually a company but it's uh, uh, fully autonomous. Uh, that's why we decide to apply that ideas uh, to the real cases with the autonomous system and the cyber physical systems. And what we got? We organize uh, the communication between different cyber physical system for the Ethereum blockchain with the smart contracts usage. Uh, whereas smart contracts, it's uh, like a description of the business process uh, inside the blockchain and uh, the cyber physical systems and autonomous systems, it's like uh, separate autonomous agents uh, which communicate uh, to each other with the coins and use the market relations 
to exchange the information and try to find the optimal position in the market. Uh, what technologies we use uh, for that cases? At first, it's Nix OS. Um, it's uh, one of the uh, implementation of the open source <coughs> operation system and uh, you can tune uh, this system for the separate autonomous agent uh, like cyber physical system with description of all uh, elements what, what it should has for example what sensors what controllers what actuators should be and what drivers should be used for the, that cyber physical system uh, the next one it's a robot operating system it's uh, one of the uh, framework for to control uh, the cyber physical system inside uh, with the uh, mathematical implementation of the control laws and drivers of the uh, driver realization for the actuators and the sensor and the last one it's a firm blockchain uh, with the smart contracts what we used for organizing the communication between separate system when uh, it presented like a, a separate autonomous agents which can provide the own service or own product because right now you know uh, there are several cases with the lights out factories for example in China and right now lights out factory can be like a separate cyber physical system which can communicate with other lights out factories through the Ethereum blockchain with the, our software okay a uh, few words about network ecosystem how we organize uh, the communication and what we put in the site uh, outside of the blockchain and what information we settle in the blockchain uh, of course uh, the settling information inside blockchain it's uh, uh, cost cost of money it's uh, in, and if you want to publish your ask and bits it's not suitable to uh, put all ask and bits in the blockchain that's why for uh, ask and bits we using the uh, light uh, uh, light channel light communication channel it's uh, IPFS uh, publisher subscriber and uh, or we hope uh, of the releasing whisper in the Ethereum blockchain and uh, I think we will shift to whisper but right now it's publisher su subscriber in the um, IPFS inter internal play plain file system application okay uh, the cyber physical system in that case publishing the uh, bits uh, I, I can uh, provide you a service I can provide you a product and uh, in this bits description of that service or product with the cost parameters uh, the time and um, other uh, information about addresses that's all uh, and users ask uh, the same information in the same way uh, I, I want to get that service for that price do you agree with me or not and when you uh, we find uh, the <coughs> ask and bits which, uh, which uh, equals we match it and settle in the blockchain after uh, that in the blockchain create um, the smart contract with the li with the liabilities of each side and uh, the user's money kept in that smart contract address after that cyber physical system starts to uh, complete the task to provide the service or product and after completing the task uh, cyber physical system publishing the log file of the work uh, in 
in the robot operating system there is technology uh, uh, for collecting data it's named a ROS back file and ROS back file uh, keep the structure of the system and keep the information about the system that's uh, after that step uh, we start uh, to the checking of that file the w was the real work or not and in the in this uh, step we um, asking the observing network it can be uh, additional uh, cyber physical autonomous agent or uh, I don't know network of the cameras network of the sensors uh, independent sensors of course not inside the uh, pro <coughs> cyber physical uh, system what making the work and uh, if the observing network given the improvement uh, of the work that's okay we finalize uh, the, w the liability contract smart contract and send the money to cyber physical system and that's all okay uh, this is the first case what we are working on it's a, a ducky town project uh, where the autonomous cars in the small city uh, driving to road and here we realize how to make the autonomous uh, taxi service with the blockchain and liability contracts as you can see uh, the, uh, the car gets um, the ask to get this special point in the town and uh, start to moving through the pass from the start point to the uh, <coughs> last point mentioned by the user and uh, in, in each step cars uh, record um, the state of the system and after finishing the work it publishing the results in the internal plane file system IPFS and in this case we realized observer network with the prism algorithm it's a probability model checker uh, to get uh, which <coughs> matches the features inside the file and uh, try to compare it with the initial model and in that case that's okay the work is done this is uh, the main scheme for that case you know autonomous agent smart contract and customers at the client and validator is a pr as a prism algorithm probabilistic model checker okay in the next case it's a uh, it's a case with the UAV uh, uh, for measuring the state of the environment um, the client asking uh, that I, I want to get the parameters of the air air pollution in the, in that point in that geographical point and uh, autonomous vehicle autonomous flying vehicle starts to make the work and uh, go into uh, that point and as you can see uh, in the log file it keeps um, the parameters of the environment like co2 pollution and all um, the dust and the other one parameters this is the second case uh, how we organize the autonomous service with our technologies okay uh, this structure scheme and the last one uh, it's uh, industry 4.0 case Uh, where uh, we uh, demonstrate how the work autonomous markets uh, and the autonomous factories how they play on that markets and as you can see uh, there is uh, four markets 
and uh, the investors put the money on on the each market as they want and the robots start to work providing the product on each market uh, depending on the size of the money on each market that's the main idea okay thank you for attention ready to answer your questions thank you Uh, how we uh, organize uh, it, it, it's something like ranking system should be uh, you know uh, if the validator ch cheating nobody wants to use uh, that, that validation that's the main idea but uh, mainly uh, the validators it's uh, autonomous uh, cyber physical system and you know uh, the robots don't lie one of the points. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thanks for your attention. Any questions, you can come to me and ask. <laughs> Thank you.